There was a famous experiment conducted by Eratosthenes. There lived a man named Eratosthenes. Tosthenes. Eratosthenes. Tosthenes. And the two cities in the old world, mm -hmm. and one of them, they knew that at 12 noon on a particular day of the year, the sun was directly overhead, and you could see the bottom of a well. And then, precisely at noon, columns would cast no shadows, and the sun would shine directly down into the water of the well. Eratosthenes had the presence of mind to experiment, to actually ask whether back here near Alexandria, a stick cast a shadow near noon on June the 21st. And it turns out, sticks do. You don't run around looking at the bottoms of wells. No. You Because the light doesn't take, it's just, no. Doesn't get down there. Doesn't get down there. How can we use this observation to see if Earth's surface is curved? We need another well. I've inserted two sticks or obelisks, one up here in Alexandria and one down here in Syene. Turns out we can't see the bottom of both wells at the same time. That at the same instant, there was no shadow at Syene and a very substantial shadow at Alexandria. What might explain this? But how could it be, Eratosthenes asked. The only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. Well, there are two possible explanations. The only answer. Two possible explanations. The only answer. Two possible explanations. First, we could have a flat Earth with the sun that's small and close by so that the light hits the second well at an angle. Or second, we could have a curved Earth with a sun that's big and far away so that all the light comes in parallel, but only one well at a time is lit all the way to the bottom. Turns out with just two wells, there's enough wiggle room for both explanations to fit our observations. The only answer, the only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. Turns out with just two wells, there's enough wiggle room for both explanations to fit our observations. Both explanations to fit our observations. Eratosthenes only had two wells. The only answer, the only answer was that the surface of the Earth is curved. Turns out with just two wells, there's enough wiggle room for both explanations to fit our observations. Eratosthenes only had two wells. But what if he had added a third? With a third well, it doesn't matter where the sun is. No flat Earth model can explain the angles of all three shadows. But the spherical model explains it all. All three angles with ease. <laughs> so wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So Neil Tyson is telling me that Eratosthenes' experiment is insufficient to prove the shape of the Earth because he's lacking a third well. Yet when I go onto YouTube, you have arrogant videos titled like this one, Flat Earthers Hate the Proof Given by Eratosthenes of a Spherical Earth, showing this exact same clip from Carl Sagan's show. And yet according to Neil Tyson, Eratosthenes' experiment is insufficient to prove whether the Earth is curved or flat. <laughs> and these are the so-called pro-science people who say that anyone who questions the shape of the Earth is a pseudo-scientific idiot? Oh my god, that is rich. Holy crap, guys. Can you see that? The Earth is freaking cat. Check them out, guys. The brand new The Earth is Cat t-shirts are now available. They come in a variety of shirts and colors. I also got some great mugs available. Sweater hoods. Get yourself one of these The Earth is Cat t-shirts. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Get one from yourself right now.